All right, here we are. We are at Boulder Creek, uh, the newest RMPA claim. Uh, as of mid-September 2021, I figured I'd make a little video to show you how we actually got down to the creek. Uh, it's not too hard, but didn't find a trail, so I just made our own and uh, walked down. It's not too hard. Basically, you just walk down the hill and you're at the creek. Um, so. Here we are. Here's a little turnout in the road here. And uh, I walked the hillside, like I said, didn't find an actual trail. Uh, there's a lot of poison oak along the hillside, so you gotta be a little careful about that. Uh, it's fall, so it's bright and red now, so not too hard to find. Um, so let me show you the way that we found to get down to the creek. So if you walk into this turnout here, uh, it could be a little nice camping area actually, if you wanted to. Probably a couple people have camped here before. And then uh, you just head down, start heading down the hill. We didn't have any machetes or anything to actually clear the brush, so. We just kind of snapped the twigs and made our way down. Over time, this will get a little easier. Imagine if someone comes through here with a machete or something. That first part's actually the worst part, I'd say. And as you start coming down here, it clears out pretty good. There's some of that poison oak right on the trail, quote unquote. Take a left and just basically head straight down, and you'll be at the creek. Would be kind of hard to bring uh, any bigger equipment down here unless you've cleared out a space, but not impossible. Here's a view of the creek. I'll walk a little ways of it. I could go the whole span. I'm not sure of the exact boundary, so I'm just gonna kind of stick to the middle just to be safe.
And as you can see, it's slow moving water. There might be some areas where you might be able to block off uh, to run a small stream sluice or something. Could be a good place for dredging if that's allowed. I'm not sure yet. I don't have a dredge, so I'm just here with pans today. But I think that's as far as I'm gonna walk. It goes up a ways still. Looks pretty much the same here. Flat, calm, slow moving. So we'll head back down and put some pans in the water. Let's see if we can come up with anything. Just walking up and down the creek, uh, looking for some places to dip the pan in the water. Um, pretty nice creek. Um, sandy bottom for the most part, but there are some gravels. Staying on a little gravel bar right here. Uh, interesting name, Boulder Creek. There's not a ton of large boulders, but there are a few. I saw some as I walked down the path that actually uh, there are some massive boulders, but they're up away, so those might be some really ancient uh, rocks. I'm not sure, but you can hear the wildlife out here. They're pretty, pretty adamant that uh, maybe I shouldn't be here. I don't know. Anyways, this is a little further up the creek. Um, I was. I walked down ways before, but it looks pretty nice. All right, we came back to this little spot of this conglomerate bedrock. And you can kind of see here the bedrock here is kind of a mix of small gravel. It's like a, almost like a concrete. Anyway, found this little pocket. Digging down in here, trying to see what we can find. Each pan so far has yielded probably about 15 to 20 colors. Uh, fairly small, but keep going down a little further and further. And hopefully, it gets bigger. All right, well, that is gonna do it for Boulder Creek. Uh, ended up finding some color. I'll show it to you in just a second. Although, it wasn't actually too much, we were just painting. Uh, mostly probably flood gold uh, in this case we didn't dig down uh, any significant amount the surfaces and uh, behind you know rocks and things like that so show that to you in a bit all right and this is what we ended up finding at boulder creek again we didn't have too much time there we we're just panning and uh, this is probably the result of about 10 or 20 pans up and down the creek, so not so bad.